If you've ever watched Parliament on the TV, you'll know that lots of weird things go on in the chambers from shouting to sleeping. But I bet you never guessed that watching rude videos was one of those things. Well, Tory frontbencher Neil Parrish MP caught out watching rude videos on his mobile phone, apparently while sitting next to a female minister. Parrish is now said to be under investigation by the Parliament's Standards Commission over the allegation made by the female minister, which is alleged to have happened some time in the past few months. But was only recently, as in this week, brought up by the woman at a Tory meeting in Westminster on Tuesday the 26th of April. A little bit odd if you ask me, but I don't discount it happening. A statement from the Whip's office said the Chief Whip is looking into this. This behaviour is wholly unacceptable and action will be taken. Two of those present at the Tory meeting claimed the woman making the allegation had described the suspect as a front bencher, a minister or a whip, but a third witness said she had only mentioned a Tory MP or a backbencher. However, three sources who were at the meeting said that around a dozen women MPs at that meeting shared accounts of alleged sexism and harassment by male colleagues. Now, buckle in and hold on tight because you are going to hear one of the statements made by a male MP in a disgusting display of sexism. One MP recounted how a female colleague in a knee-length leather skirt had been told by a male MP, that's a nice outfit, what do you do for a day job? Seriously, so now we can't compliment a person or ask them any questions. I can see why women are being made to be so frightened of men if that's the level of misogyny they show to their female colleagues. <laughs> In another despicable display of bigotry, sexism and inequality, another claim was made that a Tory whip had ushered women MPs into a voting lobbies in recent weeks by instructing them, come on girls. Because of course, no man has ever and will ever say, come on boys or come on guys to their male colleagues, will they? So of course, must be sexism. <laughs> I mean, what a disgusting display of abhorrent behavior by men in parliament. Although I do find myself wondering where they find the time to be misogynistic in between being paedophiles. The meeting of between 40 and 50 Tory MPs, known as the 2022 Group, was attended by new Chief Whip Chris Heaton-Harris, Tory Party Chair Oliver Dowden and Commons Leader Mark Spencer. Some male MPs also attended, including one former minister who allegedly asked whether any Tory MPs found guilty by the parliamentary probe would be kicked out of the party. Sounds like a guilty conscience. Several women MPs raised concerns that the toxic atmosphere within the party could put women off standing for Parliament. Yeah, because the poor weak little lovelies mustn't face any criticism as a female MP, now must they? Can't be having female MPs getting all cry cry now, can we? One MP said it was like a bloodletting. Everyone was sharing awful stories of what had happened to them in the Commons at the hands of male MPs. This is the start of the female fucking world overtake. Mark my words. Human males have a biological urge which drives them to commit terrible acts of aggression, rape, murder, war. But this last terrible act has provided us with an opportunity, a chance to rebuild for our daughters and our granddaughters a world without crime, without violence, without war. A world without men. The Chief Whip clearly hadn't been expecting it and looked knocked for six, but the big question is what happens next? Another added they were genuinely shocked and horrified. They must realise that there is serious issues that they need to address. Now I don't know what's happening regarding who the video watcher was in the Commons, but again goes to show that MPs and public representatives are completely worthless 
They are supposed to be in a House of Commons representing us, the normal member of the public. But would rather either be going along with rights diminishing new laws against the will of the public, touching up school kids or watching naughty videos. Hence why it's a complete and utter waste of time voting for any of these cretins. And it's about time we had some independents in the Commons who actually know and understand what it's like for us simple folk. Neil Parrish has issued a statement on his website saying that he will continue to perform his duties as Member of Parliament for Tiverton and Honiton while the investigation was ongoing. If Parrish is found guilty of this behaviour then he could be punished with either something as simple as making an apology to expulsion from the Commons. Big thank you to channel supporters, especially these guys. Your support is truly appreciated. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts as I know many of you will. And until next time, stay safe, look after each other, film the police and other officials. Thank you.